from me. Go ahead. All right. So this uh, year over year, we've been losing revenue, and I've been wanting to explain uh, social media marketing to him, but the, we're not organic technically, and the places we're in right now are taking more organic than us. So they don't really like the hydroponics. They like the organic. So we're in food co-ops, about 30, about 15 restaurants and 15 food co-ops. I understand. Yeah. So my question is, if this like were to fall through, uh, would it be possible to, to convert to like a cannabis cultivating operation? Because we are in the Minneapolis area. So you're not, they're not going to be able to cross lines if the laws change. But here, here's the actual question. I'm going to school for computer technology, for web development right now. Do I continue to, like, go on this tech world, or do I, you know, wait for the laws to change and work, keep working here? I understand. So I, got, I think you've got two questions there. So let's and, talk. And, Tony, before you answer that, just one last piece of context for both of us to answer. Is this a family business, or you just work for these individuals because you've known them since you were a kid? Yeah, it's it's pretty close to family. It's not quite family, but I look to him as a grandfather Respect. or father. Thank you. Okay, Tony, yeah, go ahead. That's great. So um, first thing, you know, businesses evolve all the time. We see it in the technology sector all the time where people do massive um, evolutions or pivots. Um, at Slack, so I'm a personal investor in Slack with Stuart. Stuart is tiny spec, started as, off as a game, and uh, you know the game wasn't working, and, but there was this one thing that they had built, this internal communication protocol, which we all know now and love, Slack. And they knew that that was working, it made sense, and they made that evolution, right? They switched over and, you know, it's, it's a very different business from the one that they were in, but it was one where they were passionate and it made sense for them to go do. So converting, you know, how you go about converting from one line of business to another, I think that's all possible, right? One of your biggest assets is the team. Um, and the momentum you have is working together. And if you collectively agree that you're going to go in some new direction, that's really powerful, right? You don't got to start from zero and collect everybody yeah. um, uh, along the way. And the second question was, remember? Should he continue down the path of computer science or web development? Or should he go deeper into the tomato farm with the hope that it changes into a weed farm? Well, I don't know why you can't do both. Um, and That's the exactly, most, by the way, my answer, so we're going to save time. Yeah, like, what's, yeah. what's the problem with both, comrade, <laughs> with a K? Can you answer? Like, like why, why, why did you feel that they were mutually exclusive? Um, the reason being is because this, the, the farmer I work for, he's kind of against technology. He's, he's afraid of the world kind of you know, crumbling down. And what happens when there's no Internet? You're not going to have a job kind of deal. Hey, Conrad. So, pretty dynamic. Hey, yeah. Conrad with a K? That is fucking ludicrous <laughs> what you just said. Like, what are we even talking about here? That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. His thesis on what you should do with your life is predicated on the notion that one day the internet might shut down or disappear for a couple hours? Pretty much, I guess, yeah. yeah can, you, can, you, can you agree with me as a 20, 19 year old human being that that is the most asinine horse shit of all time? It's not. <laughs> Conrad? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, what are we talking about here? That's like me making my decisions on how to live my life predicated on the notion of North Korea blowing up America and me dying. And the crazy part is that is far more likely than the fucking picture you just painted. <laughs> yeah. Yes to no. That's more, it's, it's more of like, do I continue the tech? And I know you said full, but it's, it's kind of, it's, it's tough. I mean, I don't know how to. How to handle that. Well, when, let me ask you a question. What would be the output of if you followed down the tech route? You'd go get a job, you'd start your own web development shop. Like, we need to understand what that means. You're done with your education, you decide to pick the tech route. What are you going to do? Right, yeah. So, to me, if you have your own little dev shop where you're trying to make 100000 a year building people's websites, sounds like exactly what you can do from 8 p.m. to midnight. Unless maybe you wake up at 3.30 in the morning in the tomato farm. I need context, but I just genuinely believe you have 18 hours in a day, especially when you're 22 years old. You might have 20 hours in a day, and I just think you can do two fucking jobs. I think you could, you don't have to, you may not want to. Maybe you want to do other things, like, as you should, but the question becomes, have you debated the ability to do both if you choose to? Yeah, I suppose 
the both this would be the answer. Yeah. Both is always the answer if you can do it. <laughs> both is always the both answer to everything. Answer. No, but it's true, right, Tony? Sure. Both, Absolutely. Conrad, thanks for calling. I mean, t Tony, both is always. Both is. Listen, I've listened to enough sports radio <laughs> to know when to cut it off. Listen, I think both is the answer when you can do it. And I, you know, what I like about that moment, why I love this call in show is like, look, both may not be the answer when you have two kids and a dog and you've been on a plane. Like, maybe that's not what you want to do. But when you're hungry in the beginning, like, when you could do right, both. You could, I mean, I look at everybody, I'm like, both, 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 if you want it so bad. Some don't. Some want to make a nice living, buy stuff with it, enjoy the you know the fruits of a sixty to one hundred fifty thousand dollars salary, like going to a concert and buying a T shirt and like going to a Knicks game, like Mazel Tov. But like if you're hungry, both is real. Yeah, both is real. I've been doing both for a long time. I'm dude. aware, my man. A long time. We'll get into that. Listen, right? Anybody who's winning by the standards of winning professionally, do both. Yes. Like, yes. And by the way, you know, back for Conrad. You know, if you're not working with people that share your passion for something and your way about going about doing it, then you should break rank right away and go find a group of people, go find your posse or create your own posse around your passion and what you want to go do, so right? You can do your own tomato farming, you do your own cannabis, uh, you know, manufacture, whatever you want to do. You can do all that yourself, believe in yourself, vote on yourself, easy. Especially when, when the people that you're working with have the judge and the jury on their side. Yes. Old man farmer is the judge and the jury. Yeah. That's not a partnership. Yeah, he shouldn't determine this young man's <laughs> exactly. life. Exactly. Absolutely not.